Okay, so this is the first review of how we would answer exam questions um, using the mock exam paper. So this mock exam paper was from 2022. So the idea of this is, obviously as I explain how we write this down, you'd be given the sheet and all I'm asking is that you just write the correct answers onto the sheet for me. And so that way you can understand how I'm coming at it from an examiner and I will be looking at the mark scheme for reference there but I'll give you the few tips of how to put this together as well and how to look at reading into the questions okay so we're looking at this question here which is literally a six mark question so it's got three times two so whenever you're ask, answering questions on exam papers this is an indication really the first indication of what they're ask, actually asking before I've even read the question if it's a six mark question then I'm looking for six specific points to put down so it says that this question is about materials and it's about woods that we've got here so you should have a sheet that has plywood chipboard and MDF or medium density fiberboard on it and as I'm going through and explaining what the question is what you should be doing is in your head running through what you think the answer is and then obviously I'm going to go through the answer and explain why we would put this in the question and why we'd write it a certain way. Right, so the question is, number four, describe the structure of each, and you can see that each is highlighted there, it's in bold, of the manufactured boards in the table below. So let's break that question down to see what it's actually asking us to do. So the word describe means that you need to tell it about its characteristics. The structure is really speaking to you, telling you how, how it's constructed basically, why is it constructed that way. So let's have a look at plywood first of all. So hopefully you've had a thought of what this is. And the things that should hit you straight away with plywood that you should remember just reviewing over what we've done before is the way the plywood is made of layers so somewhere in the answer we need to have that word about layers so the first thing I would say is yes layers is good so we can mention the word layers you need to mention how it's glued together so you can maybe talk about um, some ways that it's actually bonded so in this case it could be PVA or the one that I've always said to remember to use is epoxy resin or some form of resin so that will always be right so whenever you're gluing anything PVA certainly for woods but nine times out of ten if you put epoxy resin down it's always going to be answered because epoxy resin can glue pretty much anything to anything except silicon right so let's look at answering this question so how would I start the question so let's look at it from a moderator's point of view um, from the mark scheme. So the mark scheme said that one mark will be awarded for the structural characteristic, in other words how it's made, of each manufactured board up to a maximum of three marks and an additional mark for ensuring that each characteristic is described correctly. So no marks be awarded for candidate for cost, cheapest board, etc and we try always try to avoid that on any question unless it's really last chance saloon that you can think of nothing else and then we can mention cost it's a 50 50 whether they'll give the mark but usually we cost you wouldn't right let's have a look at it then so we've mentioned first of all what you should remember with plywood is it is layered and not only is it layered it is actually layered in odd numbers so an example would be three five seven and nine so that's a characteristic it's layered or you could even use the word laminated it's laminated or glued together that's what laminated is remember it's laminated like you laminated your um, sort of part of your lamp that curves that was laminated so it's laminated or glued together with epoxy resin in odd layers and the layers are at 90 degrees to each other so that means that you've got one layer 
with the grain going this way you've then got the layer underneath going the opposite way and because the grains cross over each other that gives it extra strength and so that would be you describing the characteristic correctly so to get two marks on this question what you would need to do is talk about plywood being laminated in layers and odd layers and the reason why we laminate them in odd layers is basically because the grains cross which makes it stronger but the other reason we use odd layers as well is so the grain at the top is going the same way as the grain at the bottom so it gives the impression it's it's one piece of wood and so that's enough about plywood so that would have got you two marks and we should remember those things about plywood because going back right to the start where we was revising so they should all be coming back to you as we're going through it so write that down in this box now so plywood layers is a key thing the 90 degrees another key thing because this, the grain crosses which gives it extra strength as does the, the lamination with the epoxy resin or the resin or the glue or the PVA however you wish to word it you can put that in and the other thing is because they're odd layers the grain on the top goes in the same direction as the grain at the bottom and that will give you your two marks okay so the second question is to do with chipboards so chipboard we know that the name literally is telling us what's in it so it's basically chippings of wood so again we need to talk about the structure so the structure would be that it is chips of wood that are bonded together with again resin and as you can see on the, the picture there the chips of wood can be in different sizes usually we have the um, bigger chips in the middle or the rougher chips in the middle and the size of the chips get a bit smaller to help it be a little bit smoother on the top but it's not a smooth board it's not like plywood and that's because it's made of chips so literally why do we do that we can get boards in different sizes and different thicknesses so when we say boards in different sizes um, we mean that we can make really big boards that would cost a fortune if we was making it out of natural timber and we wouldn't be able to get natural timber that wide so we're talking the boards that we buy in for example are maybe two meters by a meter and a half so it's a big big board and so there's that part that we can talk about um, from there so about getting the increased size but the other part that we can talk about as well is literally the strength because the strength that having the grains crisscrossed literally is keeping that strong as well now these are heavy boards we can talk about other things and advantages and disadvantages maybe where we can talk about it's the environment it's using waste wood so we use a lot of chippings from wood we can recycle wood as we can with mdf but the other thing we usually find with chipboard as well is that it can be covered with another piece of wood and if we go back to the question about plywood the layers are called veneers so we should remember that as well so we can always put veneer glued on top of the chipboard so it, it's a cheap way of making um, boards yes but you we don't write the cheap boards down because cheaper to what um, so it'd be cheaper than hardwood cheaper we don't do that with the chipboard we just explain the structure so the structure is how it's made in this case chippings mixed together with resin and then we give it a reason of why we do that and it's usually because we can make boards of bigger sizes and also with a bit more strength than natural timbers and that would be chipboard so that would be the way that you would get two marks from that one and you can also remember about veneers so plywood is glued in and um, veneers going in opposite directions the chipboard could be covered with a veneer on top as well which leads us on to the third question which is MDF so MDF should be the one that you should remember the most if I'm honest and of course we make this up with very very fine fibers or sawdust those type of small things that again bonded together with the resin so you can sort of describe the characteristics of MDF so the first thing is it doesn't have a grain whereas the other two does even though they're chippings and even though they've got plywood the grains going that one MDF doesn't have a grain so it's just mixed and bonded together with the resin so you can actually say it's smooth because it is 
so we can use this for things that we want to paint or spray so I think back to year 9 when we were doing our amplifier projects and how we finished maybe some of those off it also hasn't got a grain so it hasn't got a colour so we can paint these quite easier as well but again we're talking about the characteristics from here so it's flat, it's smooth and it's made from waste or recycled timber the same as plywood so those are the characteristics that we've got if you'd have mentioned any of those for those three you would have got six marks bear in mind the exam is out of a hundred marks so you've just got yourself six percent towards your final grade so complete the sheet now write in the answers and then you just need to bring the sheet in so I can see the sheet and then I'll know that you've completed it so this is on the paper um, the exam paper for last year where we're going to look through just to do with the woods onto that one as well so we can have a look through so this is on question 4 about materials and that would have got you 6 marks in section A